but I also had time to travel. And I came to this part of the world and I realized how beautiful uh, your city is, but I also didn't get the railway timetables right and I missed my train back to Delhi. So my first experience of your wonderful city was a very cold night sleeping on the railway station because I had absolutely nowhere else to go. So I have um, interesting but very fond memories of Chandigarh and this part of the world. But also those three months gave me an enduring love of the wonderful nation that is India. So as we go forward, we want to take that passion that we all share together about working together to create a better education environment so that we create the best possible education experience for you and those who follow on. We want to make sure that our students are equipped to work globally. You're fully aware that software engineering is a truly global initiative now. You come out with a global Chikara degree, uh, a, a shared a collaborative Deakin Chikara degree, you're going to have the ability to go anywhere in the world and bring those skills. I hope that on the basis of the education you get from both universities, you not only bring the technical skills, but you bring the team working skills, the how do we work together, how do we solve difficult problems. But above all, I hope that you bring a commitment not just to make the world a little bit different than it is now, but to make the world a little bit better than it is now. That sense of bringing more than just the technology to the table is so important. We want to make sure that our students see themselves as very proud of the countries they come from, but also genuinely part of working together to make the world a better place as well. We've got some pretty incredibly difficult and big challenges to solve. No one solution, no one group of people can do it. But each of you in your own little way can be part of that and taking it forward. So as I say, for us as a university, internationalization sits at the heart of everything we do. Not just because we want to bring international students to Deakin, but we make our university so much richer in so many ways by bringing that international perspective, the cultural wisdom, the cultural understanding, all of those other things that come into the classroom. We hope that that's reflected back, that as you look back in 40 years time as I do now on where I might have been or where I was in 1986 on a very cold railway station, that you look back and say, that experience I had at Deakin in Australia helped shape who I am now and will help shape what I do into the future, both for me now and my family who follow on behind me. I could talk for a very long time, but standing in front of you now reminds me why I do this job, which is to see cohorts of students go through, gain the benefit from an education, and go out there and shape their own lives and make a difference beyond the university walls. So once again, to our Chitkara colleagues, thank you very much indeed for the hospitality and the welcome and the warmth that underpins this partnership. To my Deakin colleagues whose inspiration and hard work has made this possible. What is particularly striking is most of the work was done through those two and a half years of COVID that made everything so difficult, and yet we've got to this great point. So thank you to my Deakin colleagues. But above all, thank you to all of you for being part of this shared educational journey. I really enjoy being here, and good luck with your journeys, and I look forward to seeing many of you on the Deakin campuses into the next few years. Thank you.